for your pulled pork tacos, you're gonna need your tortillas, the cooked pulled pork, some cilantro, Tex-Mex paste, Southwest spice blend, some pineapple, an onion, a lime, and a tomato. And then you're gonna need a little bit of sugar, salt and pepper, and some oil. So we're gonna start by cutting our onion in half. And these are just gonna get sliced into thin rings. So you can go ahead and cut off the root and the tip. And then you are gonna be saving a couple of the thin slices and you're gonna mince them up for your salsa. So I always cut it, I don't cut it like this way. You get those more like half moon shapes. I always cut it this way, you get like a longer thin strip. just going to do the same thing to the other half of the onion. So I got my onion all sliced and then I just grabbed a couple of these. Oops. I grabbed a couple slices and just kind of stacked them up. And I'm just going to give it a little mince, a little fine dice for our salsa. If you like a lot of onion in your salsa, Feel free to add more, but that's about how much I am adding. Now we're going to uh, slice our tomato, cut off the top. I always just kind of cut it into four slices like so. And then so that you have a nice flat surface, just cut this into strips. And then you can kind of dice these. And we're just gonna do that to the other half of our tomato too. All right, now we are just going to quarter our lime. And then we need to, um, we're gonna drain our pineapple juice, but you wanna save, you wanna save the pineapple juice cause that's gonna go into our actual taco meat filling. I can get this open. We use the knife. I'm just gonna strain this over a small bowl. go to my drained pineapple I'm just gonna kind of give it a rough chop just so it's more the size of the tomatoes and the onions for our salsa And then in here, I have the onion, the little sliced onion and my tomato already. I'll just go ahead and add in that pineapple. Uh, I picked the cilantro leaves off. They really did not give me very much cilantro. So i um, just gonna kind of mince this up as fine as I can so that it kind of evenly spreads out through the salsa. Cause that was it, that's all I got. Give me a bunch of stalks that didn't even have leaves on it. So, and that is going into our pineapple salsa. So we're gonna start by cooking our onions, drizzle of oil. This is our sliced onion going into here. And 
And then we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're just gonna cook the onions until they're, they're a little bit soft for like three to four minutes. Just kind of break them up and toss them around and then just let this cook for a few minutes just to start to soften them while my onions are cooking i'm gonna go ahead and finish my salsa oh, these lines are really hard my juicer um just gonna add a little bit of lime juice lime juice in that so I think I'll do one more. I use about like half the lime for the salsa. And then a little salt and pepper. And then just give that a good stir. To combine it all. All pastor tacos are traditionally marinated in pineapple juice, and they usually do have pineapple in the meat as well, so that is why we have pineapple salsa. So my onions have started to soften. I'm gonna add in another little drizzle of oil, and I'm kind of running out of oil. And then we're gonna add our pulled pork, so this has been cooked, so you really are just heating this through. And as the pulled pork, you're gonna add half of the Tex-Mex paste. If you wanna add the whole thing, you can. So it's chipotle's, cocoa powder, garlic powder, spices, a little vinegar. I'll save it and I'll taste it and see if it needs Needs more. You're gonna add the whole thing of your Southwest Spice Blend. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. And then we're going to add half a teaspoon of sugar. And then you're gonna add that reserved pineapple juice from your um, the can of pineapple. And we're just gonna start to kind of break this meat up. Oh, it's really cold and stuck together. It may take a second to kind of start to break up because of the fact that it's so cold. So again, this is fully cooked. It just needs to uh, be reheated. So you're just gonna cook this for a few minutes and like break up the meat as you go and get everything thoroughly combined. Oops. And just cook it until heated through. So my meat is completely heated through and you can go ahead and you can wrap your tortillas in like a damp paper towel and microwave them and you're gonna serve your tacos with um, the meat and onion mixture and then some salsa and then any additional lime on the side.